welcome. We are so excited. We are getting ready for our 2026, crazy to say, Woo. Power BI Beginner to Pro. Woo. So exciting. <laughs> I'm Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works with me, and I have the Devin Knight. Thank you. So, Thank you. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes. Excited for this. We're so excited. This is, this is, I feel like, I don't want to be, because I'm on the Power BI team, the Power BI person here, but I love this one. This one is so helpful to so many people, and it's mind-boggling, the amount yes. of people that watch this and give us feedback of how helpful this is for them nonstop. Literally, literally millions of people have watched versions of this mm -hmm. class that we've done over the last four or five years. Yeah. So yeah, excited to have our 2026 version. Things have changed, of course, as always. Technology always changes, so we got a new updated 2026 class. Let's yes. let's get into it. Let's go. We've got some questions and some answers for you all. So, Devin, first yes. question I have for you. What are we going to cover? What are you doing? What are you showing us? Power BI. Next question. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. <laughs> no, we're going to really show you kind of the end-to-end -end life cycle of how you work in Power BI. So starting all the way from like the data ingestion phase of how to connect to and bring data into Power BI. How do you then uh, do data cleansing with that data that you've just brought in using Power Query? Mm -hmm. We're also going to talk about briefly about data modeling. How do you take that and organize your data properly for Power BI? Uh, as part of that, we'll also look very briefly at some DAX, the Data Analysis Expression it'll Language. Little, it'll be good. It'll yeah, be good. yeah. We we got we got three hours together, so we got a lot to cover. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be we'll be touching on a lot of different areas. And then finally, we'll take the solution that we end up building through that data modeling phase, and we'll start to cover data visualizations. How do we build out a set of visuals to really display what we've mm -hmm. built inside of our reports? And then finally, publish it to share it with others. So a lot of cover. It is so much because it's it's a big mistake a lot of people think when you get into Power BI, you're like, this is a visual program. Right. We're going to take data and put it into visuals. But there's a lot that goes before that to get the best yeah. output. And it's going to be really helpful to run through that with everyone in the order that they need to get the best result. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Question two. Okay. What are people going to leave with? We kind of touched on this, but like, what are they going to hopefully learn and take with them? Yeah. Our goal with this is, you know, you're not going to be an expert in any short course like this, but we really want to give you insight into how all those phases that we just described earlier about data ingestion, data modeling, that sort of thing, how all those things work together into building out a solution. So, you know, you're, we're hoping we're gonna, you're going to get enough from this that you can then go start to build your own. And you're going to have some questions and challenges that come up when you do your own solutions, but at least you'll have seen on a small scale each of these phases. Now, each of the phases that I might do within 45 minutes to an hour might be days of time when you're doing it on your own at a much larger scale. Yeah. Yeah. But we want you to see that end-to-end -end process mm -hmm. so you can really get the picture of what goes into a Power BI project. Because like you said, a lot of people think of Power BI as a data visualization mm -hmm. tool, but there's way more that goes into it, especially sure. if you want to be successful on the data visualization side. There's a lot of other steps to get you there. So we want to make sure that folks are familiar with those enough so that they can get started on their own projects. And the best thing is that this is a repeatable process. So right. the data set that we use Obviously, you're going to be using your data. They're going to be using a totally different thing, you know, in the next weeks and months and years to come. Yeah. But the skills you're going to teach, the processes you're going to go through, it's going to be the same thing no matter what data set you're going to use. So it's really good skills to take home. Absolutely. All righty. Do people need any skills or anything coming into this? Or can I just be a random off the street and just turn on YouTube for the first day and get into this? You can be a random off the street, yeah. So we're not going to make any assumptions of what you already know about Power BI. I think many that are attending will probably be folks that know some Excel already. Yeah, they might have some basic skills, maybe hopefully understand a little bit of basics of what data is, columns, rows, those things. That would be really helpful, but not necessary because we're going to be really taking the approach that you are brand new to Power BI, teaching this to you as if it's the first time you're seeing Power BI. Um, and then one thing I'll mention too, from like a system requirement standpoint, like what should you have on your workstation to be able to follow along? Power BI Desktop will be the main application that we'll work in. It's free, you can go download it for free. Some of what, a lot of what we're gonna be doing, you could actually do completely from the web experience too. And there's some cool capabilities be, there. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, no need to come in with prior experience. We're gonna be starting, assuming you are totally brand new to Power BI. So uh, hopefully we'll do a good job of making sure we don't uh, make assumption of what you know that's always challenging when you've been working with Power BI for, for years like you have. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll 
try and take that approach where it's as if you're a brand new person to Power BI. And I will be in the chat for this, so I'll be excited to answer any questions, help anyone, give them a little bit of information that they need to get into it and yes. hopefully stay on track with this. Now, the unicorn, how do you register? Ah, there you go. So if you are interested in registering for our event coming up, you can click, oh, it's over there. Uh, way over there. there. You can click on the, uh, or you can scan the QR mm -hmm. code. You can also go to our website and you can register there as well. It'll be on our homepage. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll find our Learn with the Nerd session. So make sure you register for that so you can get all the information of when it's coming up. Most common question, is this recorded? Yes, it will be recorded. You can mm -hmm. come back and watch it at a later point. But yeah, make sure you register so you get all the information and know when to show up or when to watch the recording. So we are so excited to have you. It is coming up soon. It is beginning of January. Get your year started off right. If you have made it a goal to learn Power BI, to get into this tool, this is the perfect time. Start your year off right. Check that New Year's resolution right off right from the beginning of the year. We'll be happy to help you out.